This video is demonstrating the AR Drone Combat Add-on for AR Drone Flight. It takes you through setting it up and demonstrates some of the features of the combat mode. AR Drone Flight used to be known as AR Drone Demo but has been rebranded to support e extra add-ons from the Android Marketplace. I'll now take you through setting up the initial launch of the app. The app's already downloaded and installed on this particular phone but I'll take you through what happens when you launch it for the first time. So I'll click on the icon, it shows it's an add-on for free flight, and I haven't got the AR Drone Flight installed, so clicking OK takes you into the market. Straight to the AR Drone Flight download page. So I'll choose to install it, and I'll download it. I edited out a section there which showed my actual personal email address. And there it is downloaded. And installing. All right, once it's installed I'll take you through the initial setup which is showing you to turning on Bluetooth. I've already got the phone paired. There is actual additional stuff that you can. There you go. It tells you to turn on Bluetooth. Uh, it will allow you to turn it to turn on Bluetooth rather. So you say yes. Then you can configure it. I've already paired with an existing phone, but at this point if you hadn't then you could choose to pair with another device and it would turn on to Bluetooth Discovery. So you'd do the same thing on the other device. But there I've already paired it, so i will choose to connect to that. And it shows that the actual combat connect is connecting to it will be connecting to my other phone right I'll now take you through connecting to the drone uh, so I'll need to now I don't need to connect to the internet anymore I can go to the Wi-Fi settings and connect to one of the two drones I'm actually going to be simulating the combat here because I haven't got room in the house for both drones to fly and it's too difficult to film outside okay here we go and we're connecting to the drone and it's connected right I can now launch drone AR drone combat again and click on the launch AR drone flight option and it will take me take to the app which is already installed connecting to the drone and there we are connected and there's now I'll take you through changing the settings to turn on detection of the opponent. So just through and check some of the standard settings in the app in the AR drone flight app. Um, P264 codec and audio feedback because you might want to hear the sound effects. And and I'll turn up that for video recording if I'm not going to actually do any video recording in this particular case. So I've chosen enemy detection mode and I've gone for indoor enemies and I'm also selecting the colour as orange blue because that's just the whole colour I've got. Alternate frequency, if you've got two drones one of them needs to be on alternate frequency, not both obviously, otherwise they interfere with each other. And difficulty level adjusts ease of use and aiming circle size and that sort of thing. Uh, how easy is it to kill the opposition? And now we'll launch back in and you get sort of on-screen toast messages to show you what's happening with this combat service. And server mode means it's in the control and it's connected. And there we go, combat mode is active. So you've got the aiming circle, the kills and the shield level. Also a missile button marked M and a chaff button marked C. Um, I tend to use the tilt mode Possibly tilt toggle mode is better for combat, but uh, that's up to you. There's lots of choices in the app, so you can fiddle around with the settings and choose which is best for you. Right, I'll now go on to a different mode where we'll show you the how to configure for the that was for the indoor hull. Now obviously if you're flying outside you want the outdoor hull, so there's obviously we'll just change the settings of the outdoor hull. 
Also the lighting levels are not great for detection in here. As you see the drones are a bit sensitive to what light levels and you're not actually getting any detection on the indoor hull. So I'll switch to the outdoor hull and I'll get rid of the backlight from the window. That will make things a bit easier to get lock. All the processing is done on the drone, so it's up to the drone SDK, uh, drone firmware to do all this. OK, so we're back down to the bottom. Choose the detection mode to be outdoor enemies. And uh, that will... And colours, well, yeah, I haven't changed the colours because the colours are actually the colour colours are the same. OK, now I'll relaunch the app. And you can see the combat service is connected. We're in server mode still. And we've connected to the opponent. Which means we should see very shortly as the data communication goes on. Combat mode is active. The circle's green when you haven't got a lock and red when you've got lock. It will put a box around the enemy. If the box is solid, is a square box, then you've got a lock. It's in the aiming circle. If the box has got a cross in it, then it's outside the aiming circle and you won't be able to launch a missile. When you launch a missile, you've got to keep the box in the circle, so keep the circle red. If the circle goes green, then the missile won't hit. And chaff is when you fire the missile and you need to chaff at the opponent. You get a missile launch detect and you want to use chaff to avoid the missile hitting you and obviously take avoiding action. As I said, I'm simulating it in here, so it's just too too little room to and too difficult to film outside. You can see it's going red and you see the box the aiming box on the change. The aiming box size is giving you some indication of how far away the drone thinks the opponent is. It also adjusts the amount of time for the missile to strike so the time you've got to avoid the incoming missile. You can see I missed there. And if we try again Yeah, the lighting level's not great in here, but there we go, better lock that time. Fire again, and I hit. You get a little vibration motion when it's hit, when it's just damage. Uh, later on I'll show you what happens when you get a full-blown destruction, and it goes into a different mode. You've got LED animations on the drone, so you've got LED animations when you're using chaff, and also when you do a missile launch rotating red LEDs for chaff and missile launches are flashing from green to red. Oop, yep, well, you can see I did actually hit the opponent. <laughs> there we go, launch again. And this time I'll try and show you the, as the shield level on the opponent is now low, I'll try and show you a destruction animation. Just tweak the drone around a bit. Here you go. You can see the aiming box there going into not in lock. I'll just pick up the other one. And we've got lock. You can see it's got lock. Shoot again. Yep. And there we go. Destroy animation. Spin, spin. Well, and well, okay. That bit it will stay flying. And here I'll show you from the outside, an outside view of the drone. See the LED animations. And there's the destroy. Drop and spin. OK, happy flying. Email me for any difficulties and see the website as usual.